The next pattern in the Making Method Call Simpler series is called Replace Constructor with Factory Method. The motivation here is that you want to do more than simple construction when you create an object, and so you'll replace the constructor itself with a factory method. Now there could be a lot of reasons to do this. Uh, one common reason is, for example, you have subclassing, and you don't want to have to know which class you're constructing. In fact, we've done this before. We've used this same example in previous patterns. So we'll just quickly type through this now. Right now we have this employee where we give it a, a type flag. Now maybe we want to create explicit types for that type flag. How about we have class engineer, which is an employee, and class salesman. and finally manager. And so here, as we did in a previous pattern, we might replace this with a switch statement to basically create the correct type of employee. Uh, we can't do this in a constructor, of course, so this is where we would replace it with a factory method. So our first step here, before we even use any of these, would be to make that factory method And so now here, all we have to do is return anything of type employee, whereas with the constructor, it would have been explicitly type employee and couldn't return a, a subtype there because constructors don't return, they construct. So we would want to, first of all, let's make this work. Uh, for now, we'll just say return new employee type, and then we can deprecate this. And now we can start to build that switch statement. And of course, we would need some sort of default case, even though it should never happen. We'll just be a little lazy about it, because that's not the point we're illustrating here. So now we have this constructor that's been replaced by a factory method. In fact, we don't even need the constructor anymore. And that's pretty much it for the mechanics of that. But we haven't really gained a whole lot unless you start to look at some other uses we could have for this. Uh, let's say instead of the integer type, maybe we can use a, a string to represent it here. The, uh, the motivation in the book for that was if we're, if we're adding subclasses to this really often, then we'd also have to modify this switch statement every time we add a new subclass. And if you have to manually remember to do something, then it's not really as automated as it could be with the code. And so the example that uh, Martin Fowler went into here was that he would pass in a string and then use reflection to create the subclass that matches that string. In this case, it would be engineer, salesman, or manager. I won't go into the details for that. I don't really feel like plowing through uh, reflection calls with which I'm not entirely familiar uh, for the purposes of this video. Uh, some other examples we might look at might include something like uh, using explicit methods to create a class. So let's see, let's say we have this class person. Let's separate this a little bit here so we see that we're doing something completely different. And this person might have some sort of flag that indicates their gender, whether they're male or female. But maybe we have a lot of different logic based on male versus female, enough logic to, uh, to merit subclasses.
then here our factory methods uh, we only really need two of them uh, because it's unlikely we're going to have a, a third gender in this particular system. Uh, I suppose we could have a unknown or unspecified gender or anything like that but uh, let's just assume for this particular system this is a purely binary flag then our factory methods are simple enough that way we don't have to worry about having a constructor or anything. Um, we might even still have that gender flag on here, but that gender flag would just be explicitly overridden in the subclasses, and so it still wouldn't have to be specified here in the creation of those subclasses. And that flag is implicitly specified in the factory method that gets called. Again, that was all covered in previous examples on previous patterns, just reiterating that here. And that's pretty much it for the replace constructor with factory method pattern. Thanks for watching.